Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 45-year-old male with complaints of headaches for several years. His MRI brain is completely normal, but he does have an asymmetric finding here, and this is a view down low. This is the cerebellum, and on the left-hand side, we see the internal auditory canal, which is this little horizontal area. We see the inner ear structures. This is the cochlea that gives the hearing. And we have the semicircular canal here. This gives balance. This is one of the three semicircular canals. So these inner ear structures on the left appear normal. And we see that they are surrounded by darkness. So this darkness is a combination of air and little bony struts like honeycomb. So this is called the petrous portion of the temporal bone. And this is called the mastoid portion of the temporal bone out here. Now the mastoid portion is most, almost always pneumatized, which means it's filled with air cells. And the petrous portion Sometimes it's filled with air, sometimes it's filled with marrow. And when it's filled with air, like here we see this is a pneumatized petrous portion of the temporal bone. Now, if we look on the opposite side, we see there's asymmetry. The mastoid portion looks great, nice and open, filled with air and bony struts. They all are dark and they just look uh, uniform. You can't see the bony struts because they're just like the air on MRI. And then over here we see that there is not pneumatization. This is bright so the question is, what is this? Is this an inflammatory process, which we call petrous apicitis? So inflammation of this petrous apex, and that can cause inflammation of the trigeminal nerve and bad facial pain. It can be a dangerous condition because it's so close to the brain here. Or is just this pneumatization means these uh, I mean, non-pneumatization. There's no air here. It's just fatty marrow. So we need to look at a sequence where we can see fat. On this sequence, fluid here in the fourth ventricle is bright, fat underneath the skin here is bright, so both of them are bright, so we really don't know is this fat or fluid or some combination. So we need to turn to another sequence called a T1 weighted sequence, and this T1 weighted sequence we're going to go down there and see. And here we go, so in this we see subcutaneous fat is bright, fluid is dark, this is bright, just like fatty marrow. This is marrow here in the middle. And this is uh, fatty marrow here as well. So this is the petrous portion of the temporal bone that's not filled with air, not honeycomb air pockets. It's just marrow. It's a non-pneumatized petrous portion. This is a pneumatized petrous portion. If this would have been dark here, we would have thought, oh, it's filled with fluid. And it would have been petrous apicitis or gratinigo syndrome. They could, if you get inflammation of that nerve, the trigeminal nerve. But here we have just a very normal anatomic variant where we have asymmetric pneumatization, complete pneumatization on the left and non-pneumatization on the right. So it looks really um, asymmetric and can be very confusing. Over the years, I've had lots of radiologists say, hey, what do you think about this? So this is a very common um, finding. Now, one just minor caveat, there's something else that could, could be bright on T1-weighted images. There's a tumor called a, or a process called cholesterol granuloma, and the cholesterol in it is bright on T1 like this, or hyper-intense, we'd say, on T1 like this. But those, instead of being so nice and uniform and modeled and having a nice sharp margin with this normal bone here, those would be a larger, more expansile mass that might grow around. And it uh, usually looks significantly different than this well-defined little mottled area. So this is a, in a simple, normal anatomic variant, asymmetric pneumatization of the left petrous portion of the temporal bone and non-pneumatized on the right. And that's it. Thank you so much.